it's a package kind of day. I already screwed up and opened this one already. Uh, but check this out, check this out. Look at that, an MX P50M amplifier. This came all the way from Canada. Uh, we all know that uh, that fun Canadian that loves to spend our money, Vince. Well, he spent my money. Uh, I was talking to him about the challenges of QRP and the 705 operating QRP. And he says, well, I happen to have a toy you may want. And uh, he made me a deal on this, a uh, fair deal. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna look at uh, setting this puppy up with a 705 and taking it parachute mobile hopefully soon. 50 watts, let's see if we can do better with 50 than we do with 10. Uh, haven't tested it out yet, but this came from the candy store, I think, or Vince's candy store, one or the other and he did test it out. So five watts in, 50 watts out, test it clean on 80, 40, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. And as you can see, it's just your standard RF power amplifier. Comes with these two leads, uh, one for power, and I think this one is the transmit relay. I'm fairly certain it's, I actually have to read the manual on this to be able to tell you. But the leads are in the box, so you just need to put power poles and uh, whatever other uh, triggering I need on that, if that is in fact the, the case where it needs the trigger. And then, ha ha, ha ha ha, this one I haven't opened because I know exactly what's inside. Let's see. This is a sweet, sweet package. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I finally pulled the trigger on it. This is a Larson & Bruskard altimeter. It's called the Ares II. And, and why, pray tell, would I need another altimeter? Well, not for nothing, but my eyes are getting older. And uh, look at the size of the display on this puppy. Let me set that aside for a minute here. Look at the size of the display. Compare the size of that display to the size of this display. This is the smaller version of this. They're both made by Larson and Bruskard. And let's turn them both on. Just compare the difference in size between those two puppies. It'll make calling my altitude out and hopefully seeing it on the video a whole lot easier. And of course, we have the prerequisite satisfactory peeling of the screen protector there. So compare the size of those two displays. You know, for giggles, let's do this. Of course, we're just eyeballing this. There's no definitive precision on here, but that's uh, roughly 625 thou of, of height versus about 500 thousandths, 520, 100, 515 thousandths of height. So a whole tenth of an inch extra size on just the height of the altimeter numbers makes it a whole lot easier to read. And hopefully this will show up on camera better. One more bit in the mailbag. Ah, 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 check that out. I ordered this at Hamvention this year and they were back ordered packing list with and then information here uh what is it yeah let's get to it it's a it's a headset it's a radio sport headset with uh microphone and everything else it's super light and uh bonus it's a standard setup on the tip so i can use it with a computer as a computer headset and here's the real trick of it They make an adapter to fit it with a PTT. <laughs> and uh, the same jacks as the 705. I think they make adapters for other radios. 
I only cared about the 705 at the time of hamvention. I may add another adapter later, but uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting this. I sent the Radio Sport an email asking about it, uh, and they said, "Oh, we're still back ordered." And uh, I think the ETA they gave me was uh, end of August, and it's here already. So sweet, thanks, Radio Sport. Yeah, I buy all the stuff. Uh, and, and I think that's it on this one. Catch you guys on the next one, 7-3.